gonna work? What if we overload the processor? Could fry the whole system. Then we salvage it for parts. You really think anyone's gonna miss this robot? Now hand me that screwdriver. If this little personality upgrade works, it's gonna be the funniest damn thing in the park. Man, I can't wait to see the looks on the other guys' faces when they try to talk to it. There. All done. One slightly raiderized robot ready for duty. Gage. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. I still don't get it. Why put me in charge? You may have noticed that our former overboss, Coulter, was a fucking asshole. And that's me being nice. Ended up being poisoned for this whole operation. The way I see it, surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done. Make real progress. Sorry, pal. I don't want the job. Oh, come on. I haven't even told you about all the perks yet. Like I told you, better to be running these guys than fighting them. And, uh, you try and leave now. 
That ain't gonna go over so well. Just give it a chance, okay? You might even have a little fun. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? What sort of talents would you say you have, Gage? Aside from being a good shot and having a foul mouth, I've run with gangs nearly my whole life. I know how raiders think, what they're after, and how to use that to your advantage. Trust me, I'm in this just as much as you are. This shit needs to work out. Oh, sure. I understand. So, are you just gonna paint the bullseye directly on my back, or what? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's a part of the reason you won't see me stepping up and running things. But I'm telling you, it ain't gonna be that bad. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Got a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well... Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. What kind of a mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. Gangs started staking out as much territory as they could, all being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. Coulter couldn't pull this off? He was weak. Didn't deserve to be in charge. Tell me about it. I thought he had what it took, so... I helped arrange this whole deal. Didn't work out. But now that you're here, you got a second shot. Ain't gonna lie. I've heard about you. Part of that railroad, ain't you? I don't give a damn about their little crusade. But guess I know you got some fight in you. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack? Hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. I don't need them. I get by just fine on my own. Oh my god, shut up with this. I'm telling you, you need their help. Look. Technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. What happens after they're on my side? Then, we get started on taking over the rest of Nuka World. But, one step at a time. You in? I've got enough going on. I don't need this hassle. Are you screwing with me? Come on. This is the opportunity of a lifetime here. I wouldn't steer you wrong. I'll do my best to hold things together, but don't leave me hanging here. The gangs expect results. 
And they ain't gonna wait forever. Over, boss. Hey, Gage. So come on. Are you gonna talk to the gangs? Get them on your side? Okay. Let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right woman for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. Hey. Girl, you know we should run this place. Not some little greenie gauge dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as she doesn't get in my way. Don't much care. Yeah. Figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. Hey there. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Pet project? What's that supposed to mean? Gage didn't say anything. Apparently, we're not good enough to run this place ourselves. Gage wanted to bring in his own little puppy to replace Coulter. But I guess training a puppy is way easier than getting us to do what he wants. And what are you? His grandma? <laughs> if I was... I would have slit that little suck-up's throat a long time ago. Gage will never be one of us. He's a failure. He's lucky we're giving him a second chance. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. What do you mean by keeping the peace? It means do what you want, but don't get caught. The last thing I need is the operators and Pat breathing down my neck. We can take either of them one on one, but I don't like my odds when it comes to double duty. So keep the peace. It's the only rule we need. I bet you guys are great at parties. Side with us, you'll soon find out. Just don't slack off when it comes to actually doing your job. We got Coulter Nuka Town, and suddenly he forgot the big picture. We both know how that turned out. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. You call that a gauntlet? More like a cakewalk. Do cakewalks end in death? Because if Gage hadn't helped your ass, you'd be dead right now. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. Never followed through. 
So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. <laughs> Are you questioning me? You're over, boss? Not questioning. Just curious. We were wrong about Coulter. We won't make the same mistake twice. I'm gonna do things my way, whether you approve or not. Oh, yeah? I just have a few things for you to consider before you go off and do things your way. You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. And why would I trust you? Because we need each other. You give us what we want, and it's just a matter of time before everyone in the Commonwealth knows your name. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. I'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. that I pass this along. Mag, you may run Nuka World, again. but this is Disciple Territory. We're in charge here. Operator blood. Yikes. Sounds personal. So, I was thinking about the time I came to Nuka World. If I ever tell you that beats that story, doesn't matter. Hey. Like Help! Shut up. So, like a year ago, I'm running with this gang. Pretty good deal. I mean, I probably could have been in charge, you know, but whatever. I don't Always that keep your knife right? sharp. I mean, Never I'm like totally capable work. of running my own gang. Probably the best friggin' gang you've ever seen. Hope we get more gauntlet runners soon. I need some excitement around here. What have you been up to? Why does it matter? Damn, Nuka Cola song is stuck in my head again. Really? That last one died too fast. Hey there. I could really go for killing someone right about now. Get on with it then. Killing beats stealing any day. Nothing beats that rush. Nice attitude. Gangs, saying 
Hey. If I hear them pack animals talking trash one more time, they're gonna wake up short a few body parts. That's what floats your boat? I mean, hell, if I had known they were looking for somebody, I would have thrown my name into that hat. You know what I'm saying? Well, well. Headed out with that disciple chick again today, Anna. Tired of her always winning. She's got better aim, better comebacks, even packs a better punch. Well, not for long. Fuck these rules. I'm going after her. Then, when she's floating face down in the swamp pond, we'll see who's better. I can't wait to see. What the hell? How'd you get in here? What? A girl's got her ways. I'm just here because Anna's big into helping Nisha keep the peace between all us gang. Me? Not so much. What the? That should keep you quiet till I get you back to Fizz Top. Oh, were you recording this just for little old me? You operators are such sweethearts. And I know it's a true story, because I heard like ten different versions from ten different guys. In this area seems pretty scarce. I'm thinking of packing it in and heading back to the Commonwealth. We lost one of the Brahmins to some damn rad scorp the other day. And I think Emmy's coming down with something. The rest of us are just at each other's throats. Tired of traveling and barely running into any business. This whole land was a bust. As it is, we barely got enough to pay for our losses. Hey, are all y'all traders? If so, I know a pretty good post nearby. Guarantee you'll turn a profit if you want to check it out. Yeah, well, I'm not sure we want to trust anything some stranger in a mask told us. You sure you're not some sort of raider? I ain't no raider, and I only wear this mask on account of some Yao Guai wanting a piece of me a while back. It's up to you folks. If y'all are interested, Nuke World's just a short trip north. Can't miss it. Just tell them Dixie sent you, and they'll treat you and yours like y'all are family. We'll talk about it. Thanks for stopping by. Maybe we'll have to check out this Nuke World outpost before heading back. It'd be worth a shot. I'll have to talk with the others, and hope no fights break out this time. But the biggest story was that spot way north of Boston. Sammy just came back with this girl, Dixie, and brought the best news ever. She said she comes from a place where we'll be safe and protected, called Nuka World. Finally, I am so tired of trying to live out here on our own, dealing with raiders and finding food and just surviving. We're packing up to leave, and we're out of here. I wanted to leave this message for you. It's awfully sweet of y'all to welcome a stranger into your home. Uh, you've no idea how happy we are that we ran into you. Not as happy as I am. What are you doing? Wait, I thought you were here to... Kate, run! Sam, no! What have you done? Oh, don't worry, honey. I never keep two lovebirds apart. No! No! Ah, ah. Ah, that went well. What's this? I think I'll keep you as my little souvenir. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. I've been a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> I remember. Sooner or later, Cappy, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna... Nuka World! I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? How is this place amazing? How? Just look around! Don't you see it? You can just imagine the children, smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka-Cola and having the time of their lives. It must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. 
I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka-Cola Museum? Oh, yeah. The Nuka-Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of... that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. What are you searching for? I don't really want to say. It's nothing personal. I, I just don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with this stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome Cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh, and... The winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself! Bradburton. I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka-Cola, right? Exactly! Wow, not a lot of people know that. At least not anymore. So, to win the contest, you had to find ten images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. What's in it for me? I was just getting to that part. Brad Burton didn't just create soda formulas. He was a genius who invented all kinds of fantastic things. All I really care about is getting my hands on the Nuka-Cola formula. Any other inventions we find are yours to keep. So, what do you think? Eh, sure. Why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here, after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! All anyone's turned up so far is that she's got that pit boy on her arm. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Hey there. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? What were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, overboss. 
You're an unknown quantity, and we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? Bored. Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though, by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Right. And you want to explain to me why exactly I should be backing the operators? Because we dispense with the bullshit. My people aren't commanded by lunatic bloodlust or animal instincts. We are the only rational players around here, and would make valuable allies. So long as we know you intend to get this place back to bringing in caps. So we want to know what your plan is. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Mine now. Sweet. Yes. And I'll just take this. Never did get why Coulter brought in three gangs to play Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. Did you ever ask him why? Bingo. Nice. Well, I had to have you make your mind at any cost. I gave up on my old crew, never worried about what I lost. I gave you gold. We'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. Whatever. Hell yeah. Hey. <sighs> I always thought the parlor was a bit garish, but Mags and William have taken a shine to it, and two Trump won, I guess. Something like that. So this will be test eight of the persuasion formula. Our subject here... What'd you say your name was again? So Fuck you, Lizzie. When my crew finds out about this, they're gonna wear your so skin. Good. Okay, we're just gonna call you Eight. Eight, would you please stop talking? Go to hell. As you can see, Eight is currently not receptive to my suggestions. Now, deploying the formula. Uh, what? What the- Hey! Hey, yourself. Eight, how do you feel right now? Fine. Good, I guess. Excellent. 
Now, eight, I'm going to untie your arm. Okay. Now, eight, I want you to hit yourself. Hit myself? Please. Again, please. Harder this time. Ah! That's perfect. Thank you, Eight. You can stop now. Thank you. You're welcome. Eight, I'm going to untie you. Now, if you wouldn't mind... Eight! <laughs> what are you... <sighs> are you an idiot? Did you really think that shit would work? I'm gonna eat your... Thank you, William. I'm... I'm going to need a minute before you bring in number nine. Hey, William. Mags always saw the potential in this place, and she doesn't steer us wrong. Guess we'll find out. Mags, William, and Lizzie. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born into this life. But they sure as hell were born for it. Follow me, boy. The pack lets it all hang out. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. You gonna be a problem I need to solve? Slow down there, boss lady. We're just getting to know each other. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. I'm not here to make us friends. I'm here to make us some caps. I think we can all respect caps, if not each other. 
Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss. If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to, if you turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black, that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. Coulter was weak. Why'd you follow him at all? Been wondering that ourselves. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. So what is it you want? Caps? Action? Something! Anything that's more than the sitting around we've been doing for the last year. I think you're a bunch of ungrateful children. Careful there, boss. We ain't ungrateful. Just fed up. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast, but Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together and promised he'd find someone to deal with Coulter. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I only know what I've heard. Story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. I'm not Coulter, so that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack? I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. What's the pack got over the other gangs? The pack are the meanest sons of bitches you'll ever meet. We do whatever it takes, and we're fiercely loyal. The operators will cut your throat as soon as they get what they want out of you. And the disciples? Who the fuck knows what those crazy bitches want? There's something wrong with them, and you can't trust someone who ain't willing to show you their face. Be a good dog and do what you're told, or you'll be put down. Oh there, boss. Not in front of my guys, all right? You got enough to worry about without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. You know what? I think we're not so different, me and you. I want you to have this. Consider it a token of our mutual understanding and respect. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. It ain't easy keeping the zoo. We all do our part. If you say so.
Mine now. Come to Mama. Life's too short for bullshit. Gotta party like it's your last day every day. Yes? Hi. I know you ain't talking to me no more. But hear me out. Turns out power armor ain't easy to steer. <laughs> Fell off a cliff, get in the way. though I found your finger I mean I'm pretty sure it's yours it's all black and weird looking anyway thought you'd want to know I also thought you'd want to know they nicked me good not sure if I'm gonna make it if you're gonna come get your finger just just do it while I'm still breathing okay I want to know things are good between us before I go I miss you, bro. I told you that cow was trouble. She took off with all the cans. All of them. Who are we gonna tell Mason? Man, this is the last time I let your pecker risk mine. You go tell Mason what happened. You leave my name the fuck out of it. If you're still alive tomorrow, maybe we can still be friends. Anyway, so Atlas called out a few of his lieutenants. Remember that operator I gave a nose job? Well, she came around with some pals, tried to get a jump on me. Now I got three dead ops in that dumpster, the one where we stashed those chems. Didn't mean to kill them, but when it's three to one, you gotta go hard. Ugh, they're starting to smell. Get a crew, a couple hacksaws and some shovels. Meet me back there tonight. And for fuck's sake, erase this tape. She yells that Atlas can set himself on fire. That'd get him about as far as anything. Now I tell you, when Atlas hears this, he gets angry beyond all reason. And he slams those giant fists down on the ground. As the story goes, windows shattered in Diamond City. And a whole section of Lexington comes crashing down just for the shock of it. Hope and her gang wake up the next morning and find their town the only thing still standing as far as the eye can see. Atlas says it's the last threat he's gonna make before he storms their gates. And honestly, between us, this whole thing is already gone way up. Now hope she's a good woman. Man, I've been getting the shakes bad. Haven't slept in days. You've been hitting the jet pretty hard. Get some of that new Colmex stuff that Maddox cooked up. Thank you. 
Gage. The overboss returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopaths. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. They'll do what they're told. And that's all that matters. Oh boy, okay. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. Plant a flag. Are you serious? Dead serious. Look. You leave it up to anyone else, the gangs will all just fight over who deserves the space. A lot of these idiots can't read, so it needs to be as plain as day for them to get on board. They know what to watch for. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together, so I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. Why? What's in it for you? For the love of... Ain't you been listening? I'm the one that sold this whole idea to the gangs. Shit goes south. It ain't just your head they're gonna want on a stick. I like my head where it is. So if I can do anything to help keep it there, I'm gonna. So, what's it gonna be? We doing this together or not? No thanks. I got this. Suit yourself. Change your mind. I'll be around. 